Well, it's Monday morning. I'm at it again, calling coyotes. You see this thick stuff? See how thick this is? I mean, let me show you. This is as tall as me. Very hard to hunt. See this, how high it goes? And it's, it's like this everywhere. If anything, this might be shotgun country. But I know there's coyotes here because that fence back there on the top, that's the aqueduct. And I know coyotes like to hang around here. And I was sitting up there calling the bottom here. And I barely see a few places where this road has got a couple little open spots. And I, I almost didn't call it because I've shot two coyotes or so over the years here. On the other side is the same problem. It's too thick. And, uh, yeah, but I know there's coyotes in here. So anyways, I said maybe I get lucky and I see a glimpse of one on the road. And well, sure enough, I was calling. I think I started with a, a baby raccoon because I figure there's water here, there's raccoons. And well, you see this, right? It is big drag marks. What do you think that is? You punch me. A double. <laughs> they were coming, jumping through the brush. I saw them from above. And they just so happened to stop in a little clearing to look up the, the hill where I was sitting. I only had the call about 10 feet to my left because there's really no place. And they look, and I center punch the first one. And the second one ran off, and the fox band came on on the collar, the, the, the screaming puppies. When the gun goes off, it changes to a screaming puppy. And what have we got here? Where have we seen this? Got two pretty coyotes. This is a big female. They're both females. This is a big female, I mean heavy, I can barely lift her. And uh, the other one ran off and when the, the fox bank came on, took about 10 seconds and she came back. And I said, well, you fucked up. She stopped to look and I had my, that one. I'm shooting the NPR. I'm doing a little R&D here with some uh, Lehigh defense rounds. I mean, I, I shot deer with them and, and it worked. So I figured let's try on coyotes. Trying a lighter bullet because the 223 can't handle the pressures of the 556 five, round with heavier bullets. I like to shoot 70 grainers, but these are 55 grainers and they're out of this little 16 inch barrel, they are going um, um, 3117, and well, they work. This guy was shot on the spot, and that one dropped too. But it was trashing around, and I, I give her a bonus one. As long as they st still move, I keep shooting. Coyotes are tough animals, so yeah. Give me a double. This is coyotes. Number nine. I've shot nine in the last three weeks since I started hunting deer, and uh, it's a uh, it's really cool, man, to do this kind of stuff. Well, I shot one when I was hunting deer. I shot one in in this pond. I was glassing for deer, and the coyote came to drink water, and I killed it. And the other, uh, I don't know. This this is nine, so the other eight I shot calling coyotes between you know deer hunts and whatever after the deer was I had finished my fill my tags so anyways let's see if I can get this on no how do I do this forgive my rookie camera work but I'm not good at that
I said guys pretty cool stuff this is my second double in the last three weeks and you know you say you can't do it with a bolt gun as good as you can on an AR if you know how to run the bolt yes you can and the best thing you don't lose your brass it always fall next to you and for this rifle I use Lapua brass which is not cheap so I don't want to lose it on the AR 15s I use whatever brass I have that I picked up from shooting with other people and don't care it's an AR 15 and and they they, they all shoot with my reloads all my gu my guns are sub MOA but but this one uh, I got it to go 3017 but the the uh, groups were about an inch and a quarter and that's not good enough I mean I can kill coyotes all day with that because 85% of your shots are gonna be a hundred yards or in closer the other 10% are gonna be between maybe 100 and 200 and that's very rare and the other 5% you're gonna shoot beyond 200 yards but it's extremely rare on rare on, on, unless you're in open country um, which I have done up in the Owens Valley uh, many years ago I was with a couple friends and I I shot a coyote at 735 yards something like that uh, I he was going across this big floodplain and there was a lot of um, snow melt. It was the spring after the, the snow was melting and there was a lot of water. And we spotted three coyotes first and they, for whatever reason, they were spooked at a thousand yards and they ran they, like they saws and they bailed out of there. So there was a logger, one logging behind by himself. And, and um, my friend uh, Simon was was calling wind and the other guy that was with me uh, was calling the range and I was laying down front on this road with a bipod and he told me how far and I dialed my rifle it's a 65 by 47 Lapua shooting 100 I think it was 140 grain bullets anyways um, um I fire and it was really easy to see the splash because it was a lot of water it was about six inches of water on the ground the bullet hit and made a big splash and i hit about i don't know two feet in front of the coyote or so so i i put that that point where the bullet splash on my on my reticle i i brought that hash mark and put it on the coyote's tail fire again and i dropped him all i did was go from the front to the back i brought the scope here that's a fantastic shot, man. You, you don't do those every day, and it was it was cool. There was people there to witness it. So, anyways, I think uh, I was doing a little R and D on these bullets, and I think um, the proof is they work. The results of my testing is that they work. Look, I gotta go clean my gun. It's all dusty. Anyways. Um, yesterday I went with Rafael I called two coyotes for him one right after the other less than three minutes on two stands two coyotes he missed one shot the other one uh, fantastic shot he made a 218 yards he center punched him in the chest and uh, today this was my seventh stand and, you know most people will discourage and stop hunting they go ah there's nothing here I had in, in mind to do at least nine because it's still about 45 degrees and it was only 9, 10 in the morning when I, when I shot them. So moral of the story is get out of bed and come do this. It's a lot of fun. I never shot coyotes in my living room. So thank you for playing. Whew. I'll be visiting your cousin soon. I'm gonna go home and get some sleep now.